What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back here again with another video. So we're going to check out top 10 most shocking WrestleMania kickouts by Wrestling Flashback, man. This should be another good one since WrestleMania is right around the corner. There are some legendary kickout moments that you just be like, you'll always remember, you know, when you, you know, go down memory lane or you'll remember where you were when you thought the match was over and they kicked out and, you know, you got over 50,000 people going crazy because they're thinking this is just amazing got this is awesome chance so we're going to check out some of these amazing shocking wrestlemania kickout moments it's, it's going to be great to go down memory lane wrestlemania is right around the corner i'm looking forward to it hopefully you guys are as well let's get right into this one man is this song WrestleMania is the grandest stage of them all, and that means it plays host to the biggest matches in all of wrestling. And with the stakes so high and the occasion so massive, superstars will stop at nothing to pull out all the stops. And this means finding the intestinal fortitude to mm -hmm. keep getting back up. Two. Two. Just when you think they're down and out after being hit with a spectacular finishing move, somehow they manage to kick out. And with the crowd and their opponent completely in shock, just mm. like that, you've got a WrestleMania moment. Yep. This was so good. One, two. Oh, so good. So take a look at some of these incredible moments back. as we run down <laughs> some of the craziest 30. kickouts in WrestleMania history. Number 10, Warrior kicks out of five elbow drops. We start in the year 1991 for our first entry as the Macho King Randy Bob Savage them, took please. on the Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 7 in a match where the loser must retire. The Warrior was up against it due to constant outside interference from Sensational Sherry. And despite the Warrior's best efforts, Savage looked to have him beat as the Macho King went to the top rope to hit his patented elbow drop. But Savage believed it would take more than one to keep Warrior down, but then two elbow drops turned to three, then four. But the Macho King still wasn't done until finally hitting a fifth elbow drop and going for the cover. But somehow the Warrior kicked out. <laughs> this was in an era where kicking out of finishing moves was very rare, yep. so it was a shock for everyone. Yeah, this is this is that time period when someone hit a finisher, it was over. You knew the match was over. I kind of wish they would kind of get back to that, man, because it always, it when someone's finisher is protected, when they actually kick out, it makes for a bigger moment. But that was just a wrestling era back then. So he hit five of them and he still kicked out. We want to see the Warrior being able to get the shoulder up after receiving five finishes in a row. Savage would even be able to kick out of the running splash later on, but wasn't able to ultimately defeat the Warrior. Number nine, Sid kicks out of the leg drop. Just a year after Warrior defeated Savage, Hulk Hogan wrestles Sid in the main event of WrestleMania 8. It looked like business as usual for Hogan after hitting mm -hmm. his iconic leg drop. Everyone was expecting that to be that, but Sid was able to kick out which stunned the fans. Someone kicking out of Hogan's leg drop was unheard mm -hmm. of at the time. In fact, Sid would be the first wrestler to ever do so in the WWF. Wow. It's all over. No, 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 no. But Sid wasn't actually scripted to kick out of the leg drop as oh. Papa Shango was meant to interfere and break up the pin, causing the DQ. But Papa Shango missed his cue, meaning he was late coming down to the ring, leaving Sid no choice but to get his shoulder up. Oh, Number eight. damn. So he had to call an audible. That's crazy. He wasn't even supposed to kick out. Roman Reigns kicks out of five F5s. Now oh, bruh. <laughs> this is, oh, this was just, this was just, this was bad. This was just bad. Five F5s, bro. The Undertaker streak was destroyed in three. He kicked out in five. I, I, oh, this was Before so this clash at, at WrestleMania 34, Roman had garnered somewhat of a reputation for kicking out of finishers at the grandest stage of them all. It's Edgar the King! He had even kicked out of the F5 once before at WrestleMania 31. Third F5! Yep. Kick out. 
and going into WrestleMania 34, every indication seemed that Brock Lesnar was headed back to the UFC. And it also looked clear based on how the storyline played out on television that the plan was for Roman Reigns to kick out of the F5 and win the Universal Championship. Yep, that's that's what it was. But they pulled a swerve and said, screw it. And then Brock proceeds to bloody him. <laughs> he proceeds to give him a real elbow and just bludgeons him. And we're just like, I mean, I guess... <laughs> so it was no surprise then when he kicked out the first F5. And F5 like, one. But then he kicked out of a second. Yeah. With more impact. I want y'all to listen to how quiet the crowd is. They're quiet. Just quiet. Because we knew. Or at least we thought we knew. Again stays alive. Then got his shoulder up after a third. And a third. Absurdly enough, he kicked out of a four. This oh. one through a table. Not in the five out of the table and through the table. It seems and listen, once again, people love table spots. No one cared for this match because we was like, all right, just put the title on him. That's that, bro. That's how uninterested. No, this is the main event, and no one gave two. He was destined that he would win when he miraculously kicked out of a fifth at five. Oh. Many have said that this was overkill, but surprisingly yeah. enough, Reigns eventually did succumb to a 6th F5 and lost the match. Had the crowd actually been more into this match, this entry may have made it higher on our list. Number no 7, Stone Cold kicks out of the rock bottom. Two yep. years after their clash at WrestleMania 17, The Rock and Austin locked up one more time at WrestleMania 19. And while Mania 17 said farewell to the Attitude Era, this match was somewhat of a last hurrah for the two biggest stars of the yep. Attitude Era. Stone Cold was 2-0 over The Rock at WrestleMania, meaning it was do or die for the people's champion. We would see a series of finishing moves being delivered. Oh, the JR's true final blow appeared commentary. to come after a series of counters, ending with the Great One hitting a second rock bottom to Austin. One, two, and Stone Cold kicked out yep. as the fans' faces mirrored the rocks. That bar, this is so good. So but good! Austin was on his last legs, <laughs> barely getting to his feet, only to be hit with a third and deciding rock bottom. WrestleMania 19 proved to be Austin's final round as he ended his in-ring career, while The Rock would wrestle one more match before going to Hollywood full-time. Number mm -hmm. six, Rock kicks out of the AA. Now the AA had been kicked out of a fair few times before at the grandest mm -hmm. stage of them all. <laughs> this time different. Given how hyped the match had been and how much Cena was the clear favorite to win. Just like Hogan passed the torch to The Rock, many speculated that The Rock would do the same to John Cena at WrestleMania mm -hmm. 28 in what was perhaps the biggest WrestleMania match since Rock Hogan. And in yep. The Rock's hometown of Miami, yep. the stage was set for this once in a lifetime encounter. After hitting. They said once in a lifetime, but it quickly became twice in a lifetime. <laughs> Two attitude adjustments in the match, Cena hooked the leg, but The Rock managed to kick out as the pro-rock crowd reacted in mm -hmm. approval, while at the same time thinking how close Cena was to victory. Cena's next move would cost him as he yep. uncharacteristically tried to mock his opponent by yep. going for the people's elbow. But The Rock would spring up before Cena could hit the move as we saw Rock Bottom instead. And that would earn the win. Number mm -hmm. five, HBK kicks out of a top rope angle slam. Shawn Michaels versus Kurt Angle at WrestleMania 21 had all the makings of a five-star classic. And Facts. the match more than lived up to the hype while both men put in stellar performances. It was anyone's guess who would come out on top, but we all thought it was over when Kurt Angle ran up the rope to hit a top rope angle slam to Shawn. But it couldn't get the job done. Done. The speed at which Angle scaled to the top was amazing. Oh Add to that an elevated version of his already impressive finishing Fantastic maneuver, match. and you have a spot that surely could have been the finish. Such a good Angle match. Angle was able bro. to pick up the victory, however, using a grapevine version of the ankle lock. Number four, Austin struggles to put The Rock down. WrestleMania 17 closed the curtain on the Attitude Era, and there couldn't have been a more fitting main event than Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock. 
The two biggest stars of their era gave us a match we'll never forget, as we were time. left guessing as to what the finish would be. Rock had previously kicked out the stunner at WrestleMania 15. <laughs> But this match felt a lot. And JR commentating on all those matches. Chef's kiss, bro. <sighs> Take me back. A lot more significant. Rock first kicked out of the rock bottom by Austin, which was expected. He then kicked out of a chair shot to the mm -hmm. head from Vince McMahon, where the crowd thought it could be over in a typical screw job fashion. But no, the rock continued to stay alive. Then a Stone Cold Stunner with the mm -hmm. Rock's signature cell job looked to have sealed yep. a deal for the Texas Rattlesnake. But miraculously, yep. it only garnered two. Yep. <laughs> Austin then swung for the fences with a steel chair and the crowd for sure thought that that was over. But it still couldn't get the job done with the crowd at fever pitch. Oh my god. <laughs> But that kick out may have been all The Rock had left, as after being subjected to a steel chair beatdown, that was all she wrote. Yeah. As Austin would do the unthinkable and side with his greatest rival, Vince McMahon, to put a bow on the Attitude Era. Number three, Rock kicks out of the leg drop. The Rock mm -hmm. vs Hulk Hogan was the dream match of all dream matches, as two of the biggest icons in wrestling faced off in the showpiece match at WrestleMania 18. With the crowd firmly in Hogan's favor, the Hulkster looked all set to claim another WrestleMania victory with his signature leg drop. But the People's Champion dug down deep to kick out, which sent the Toronto Sky Dome into a simultaneous mm -hmm. roar as they yep. couldn't believe what they were seeing. Bro, that crowd was so electric for this match. It was beautiful. It was the crowd's electricity that eventually lit a fire under the rock, which led to the great one securing the win over Hollywood Hogan, with the two wrestlers showing the respect they have for one another in the post-match by shaking hands. Number two, HBK kicks out of the tombstone. Oh, man. I do have to show Dub this match. Um, we check out... Uh, past uh wrestling matches on patreon i'm about to show dub this match this match is just fantastic bro this match right here is one of my favorite wrestlemania matches of all time jr on commentary just 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 so this goosebump inducing five-star classic don't at me the Undertaker defending his WrestleMania undefeated streak was a once a year tradition, as many wrestlers would try and fail to defeat the dead man at the showcase of the Immortals, but not for the want of trying, leading to some of the greatest WrestleMania matches and moments. It was always surprising when someone would kick out of his tombstone pile driver, because there was always an expectation for Taker to win. <laughs> and none were more shocking than when Taker battled yeah. Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 25. Oh, the Phenom so looked to keep the heartbreak kid down with the Tombstone pile driver, but Michaels would kick out too, leading to one of the most memorable images in WrestleMania Facts. history as Taker lay there absolutely dumbfounded that Shawn was able to get the shoulder up. Oh, this is so good. Warm. In Houston, bro. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps, JR. Stop it. <laughs> I had an out of body experience as well. I couldn't believe what I was watching. It happened in my home city. Oh, it was great. Take me back. <laughs> there was one more tombstone that was able to pin Michaels for the three, and oh. The Undertaker made it 17 0 at WrestleMania. Number one, Taker kicks out of a super kick pedigree. This one right here. I'm not going to lie to you. I lost my shit. I legitimately thought it was over. This was one of the very few times. Actually, I'm going to say this may be the one time I thought the industry here. The super kick into the pedigree combo. I thought it was over. Shawn Michaels selling what he just saw and can't believe it. It's, it's one of the best 
WrestleMania matches of all time. Very good Hell in a Cell. End of an era of sense, in a sense. These guys have been up and down in Hell in a Cell. So it's it just, this was fantastic, man. Be combo. By 2012, The Undertaker's WrestleMania streak felt unbreakable. Many superstars came extremely close to breaking the streak over the years. That RKO, con uh, that uh, <laughs> bro, that RKO <laughs> would, out of nowhere was beautiful. <laughs> this one was good too, huh? But Shawn Michaels and Triple H had already failed twice to defeat Taker mm -hmm. on the grandest stage. But the end of an era match at WrestleMania 28 firmly stacked the deck against Taker as he faced off with Triple H inside Hell in a Cell with the game's longtime friend Shawn Michaels, a special referee. Triple H had come so close to breaking the streak mm -hmm. at WrestleMania the year prior. This is too much! Oh. This is just see. <laughs> what? So now with his best friend as the referee, this was the game's best chance. As Taker was stepping in the ring with two people who wanted the streak to end, and end it so nearly did, as a sweet chin music and pedigree combination oh looked God. to have finally beaten the phenom. This at right here. But the dead man stayed alive, and not a soul in the arena could believe it. I couldn't believe. <laughs> Tombstone and a begrudging three count. Oh, that is just false. I I remember watching it live and I'm like, it's over. They ending the streak. That's it. Super kick into the pedigree combo. That's it. And he kicked out and I just was like, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Later from Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker had won for the 20th time without defeat at WrestleMania. Couldn't and that believe brings it. us to the end of this video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to this the channel. This was great, and man. if you enjoyed this, I enjoyed this video. Y'all go ahead and give the homie a like. I'm going to give him a like. I'm already subscribed to Wrestling Flashback. Y'all go show him some love. That was fantastic. This video brought me back down memory lane and I hope it did for you as well. Comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite wrestlemania shocking kick out of all time for me it has to be number one on there the number one spot the pedigree i mean the super kick into the pedigree combo and that hell in a cell i i i thought it was legit over i thought the streak was done and when he kicked out i lost my shit i couldn't believe what I was watching. I couldn't believe with my own eyes what I was seeing. And shout out to JR for making all of these, well, most of these moments that much better. Oh, this was great, man. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K. I'm still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champion of the world and you're in a clutch world heavyweight champion. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.